Right, so in this video, we're going to be going over the management resources and what kind of all goes into that. Um, it's really more so automation accounts, login analytics, workspaces, things that you would, uh, you know, look at more as a, as a management standpoint, dashboards, queries, your alerting. Um, you can kind of want to, you know, lock down this a lot more as far as who can, you know, see some of the things that goes into there. Uh, look into, you know, obviously the Azure landing zones, um, you know, documentation, and it gives you more of a governance and standpoints on what all can kind of go in there. So we're going to be deploying that. Uh, we already got the subscription created from our last videos, but we're going to go ahead and set this up and get this portion done and then move on to the uh, core and identity. So basically what we already have set up is our um, subscriptions and we have our connectivity resources deployed inside of the connectivity subscription there. So let me move this back over here. So now what we wanna do is gonna create some files inside of our management. One and again, from our last video, it's gonna be the same thing, main.tf. Then we're going to have a outputs.tf variables. And we're also going to do a settings.management.tf. All right. So now for our, um, for our, our management section, let's go ahead and throw in pull this over here and it's basically going to be the same module that we had inside of our connectivity. So taking the same information I had and moving it over into here. So for the version, again, I'm going to do 4.1.0. So it makes sense to keep all these on the same version as well so that there's no discrepancies in what's getting deployed. Um, subscription ID. Um, instead, also for the local backend, the other one was connectivity.tfstate. This is going to be management.tfstate. And then we're going to also go, let me go ahead and grab the subscription ID for my management subscription here and bring this over. So, another screen. So I grab that and inside my variables. And I'm not going to do any descriptions here, but you can. So on default, it's just going to be there. And we go back into the main.tf. Uh, now I don't see, I put that in another. I want to put that in another. Oh. Let's move that over here. All right, so the root ID is going to be same thing we had. In our last module, it's going to be let me take you, you can put whatever you want. That's just what's going to append to the resources that you get create that that you create inside the subscription. So if we go back here. Um, we're going to say configure management resources, and that's going to be inside of a local dot configure management resources. And if we pull the uh, enterprise scale Terraform module back over here, we can see that. Oh, let's go back here, back to our inputs page. Got the connectivity resources there and then management resources here. So enable monitoring, monitoring, uh, SQL assessment, vulnerability assessments, um, defender, defender for app services, defender for APIs, all the, uh, different, you know, management resources and settings there. So taking this back over here, we're just going to just do something real simple. And we're going to take and 
build out a pull this over here. So basically, log analytics, their config, retention. We're just gonna set this to like 30 days. So we're gonna need a variable for that. It's gonna be 30. And if we look else, well here, email for security contact. Um, this is just security center. We don't have to have that actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this out just for the labbing purposes. And then the primary location and tags will take this out as well. So the location is going to be, we're gonna say central US. And then we still need also our required default location. Um, so now that we got all this set up, this basically again is, let's set this to 6.6. Six. And that's the latest as of this video for the Terraform. So I like pinning it to a specific one. That way there's uh, no automatic updates going on here. So we got a subscription ID management. Let's make sure we put that one in there as well. Okay, so subscription ID management. Now we also need our outputs file. Again, this is to get any of the um, any of the uh, settings and output values that, that are gonna be needed for the core, uh, core resources to understand what's already been deployed. Again, this deployment is to actually be able to keep things separate and give us separate state files. Again, these states are local, but in a production environment, you'll wanna put those in a storage account of some sort or somewhere locked down that only uh, the right people could be able to get to them. So again, we're outputting our ID for the management and the management resources. So let's go ahead and save all, make sure all these are saved. So let me close out of some of these tabs up here. Uh, yep, save that. Save that. Some of these tabs cleared out. All right, so should have everything. So let's go into that folder. And then initialize our module. And then we'll do a Terraform plan. And then we'll, once these gets deployed, we'll uh, then, you know, finish it off with our core resources and bringing this over here again, we'll have basically the, which one were we at here? Back to that page. So once we get all these, created the identity um, subscription doesn't deploy any resources um, but basically it will actually uh, our core folder will deploy the management group the hierarchy will also do some custom mark types so instead of actually having to be SAP corp or online we'll, we will set these to whatever we want to set them to we'll also override some of the def, um, default policy definitions and then once we run that it will place the subscriptions in the appropriate management groups that it should go in. So looking back now, let's see where we're at. So this is still going here. So let me uh, pause this here for a second. Once that gets done, we'll uh, finish this off. All right, so we got um, 24, about 24 resources to be added. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply on this. 
and let those um, apply. And then we will get over into the next video that will kind of go over into deploying core resources, um, doing some arc type overrides and being able to set this up to then manage and be more manageable for anyone looking to deploy these separately in a more um, devops -y state uh, to reduce, you know, anything as far as, uh, you know, mass updates on one particular module. So again, once this finishes off, uh, leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to get back with you again, uh, tune over to the next video on finishing this up.